Hello everybody, it's Dr. Med Ed, and today we'll be talking about tricuspid annular plane systolic excursion, also known as TAPSI. Our objectives are what is TAPSI, how to measure TAPSI, and how to use TAPSI to assess RV function. What is TAPSI? It is the displacement of the tricuspid valve annulus plane, and this reflects the RV longitudinal contraction during systole. This area is where the TAPSI is located near the tricuspid valve. And as you can see, as the heart is in systole or contracts, the wall gets shorter. As the heart contracts, the lateral wall of the right ventricle gets shorter along this plane including the tricuspid valve annulus and that is the displacement of the tricuspid valve annulus. To measure the TAPSI, you first put the echo in four chamber view and then switch to the end mode. In end mode, you align the line along the lateral wall of the right heart chamber walls where the tricuspid annulus is and then you'll get something like this. So we have the apex up here, and these are the shortening of the tricuspid annulus when the heart contracts, and you can measure the slope of the trough to peak, and this will actually give you the Y distance, and this heart is 1.96 centimeters. I also want to point out that from here to here, is when the heart in systole. We'll talk about TAPSI and RV function. If the measurement that you got from the prior slide is less than 17 millimeters, that indicates right ventricular systolic dysfunction. And if it's less than 14 millimeters, it indicates a poor prognosis in patients with chronic heart failure. This is my reference. And if you thought this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you for listening.